Hi everyone, and today we've got something I've been looking forward to for a very long time. Inside this brain box are lots of goodies from our friend Sammy at Snowdale Design. We have Dale of Merchants 3 and lots of goodies. So, Dale of Merchants 3 is the third game in the Dale of Merchants collection. Fourth if you count Dale of Merchants collection, which is the big box to hold everything in. So, Dale of Merchants is a deck building game where you are playing anthropomorphic animal folk trying to build a market store. And the way you do that is by, uh, in standard deck building fashion, building up your deck and then laying cards down as one of your go uh, to equal the value of one, then two, then three, then four, then five, all the way up to eight. And the pers first person to lay down their value eight market store is the winner. So that's what's inside this box. And here we have a bag for holding the Dale of Merchants playmats, which I have here. Lots of card sleeves for uh, all three editions of the game. So one, two, and three, plus everything that comes in Dale of Merchants collection. Uh, very nice card sleeves, I, I might point out, with the Dale of Merchants backing on them. So there's no doubt what game they're for. And these lovely playmats. Let's move this big box out of the way. So we have the pandas. So I chose which ones of these I wanted. And I've got four because uh, it's up to a four player game. So uh, the Alimos, the uh, desert monitors, and of course the penguins. I don't know why the penguin one is the only one in the, uh, in the plastic, plastic bag, but never mind. Um, so, let's look at everything I've got. Well, I guess we want to see what's inside Dale of Merchants 3, don't we? So, I guess we should go and remind ourselves what Dale of Merchants is all about, and then look inside the box. The Continental Transport Corporation has taken on an ambitious task to build a railway network that spans all of Africa. For their project, they're seeking a leader, someone skilled in both business and diplomacy. Prepare to prove your skills and rise to the top in Dale of Merchants 3. The newest instalment in the acclaimed series of deck building games once again introduces an exhilarating bunch of new unique decks featuring adorable animal folks from all over the world. Let's see who's coming. Archiving desert monitors discontent white-headed lemurs, scheming green magpies, sharing short-beaked echidnas, superstitious snowshoe hares, and prepared grizzled tree kangaroos. In the game, you are a merchant competing in an intense trading competition. Your path to victory is filled with tight turns and tough choices as you improve your deck, build your merchant stall, and sabotage your opponents. You can customize the experience to your liking. Want more interaction? Pick decks that let you steal cards from others. Randomness. Pick decks that live and die by the dice. As usual, Dale of Merchants 3 is both a standalone game and fully compatible with all other Dale of Merchants games. It's a great starting point to the series and an excellent addition to the collection for any Dale of Merchants fan. Greetings, I'm Sam Larkso, the designer of the Dale of Merchants series. It's hard to believe that we already have nearly 30 animal folk decks in the series. The combinations they offer are practically endless and you'll never play the same game twice. Thank you for checking out Dale of Merchants 3 and for your support. I feel I should, I should keep the playmat there while I do this. So, inside the box. so we've got our market stall as usual. So two different designs. So this one's, I saw him live stream the designing of this actually on, on YouTube. So it's a, it's a railway station. So there's our daytime scene and our nighttime scene. Oh, there's a nice little, little cat on there, just chilling out on top of the train at night. We have our rule book, which will be pretty much the same as all the other ones. So, uh, if you own collection, there's space inside the box for you to put all the rule books for the various games, but there's also the big one that encompasses everything, which is which is what 
uh, most people will use. Do you want more dialogue motions? I mean, why wouldn't you? If you need one to know more, then snowdialdesign.fi for information about all the various types of uh, Dale of the Merchant's games, or all the various animal folk decks. And also you can find out about Sammy's other games as well. And here we have the animal folk decks themselves and our custom die. I forget which animal folk the die is for, actually. Let's have a look on the back of the box. It's the Superstitious Snowshoe Hairs. So let's crack open the, the decks and look at our um, one, two, three, four, five, six types of animal folk that we have in Dale of the 3. Okay, so here's our cards. So first of all, let's get rid of all the junk cards, the one value cards that you can't use to build a market stall, but you can use them to buy uh, other cards. So standard deck building things, you've got the low value cards that you want to try and get out of your deck as quickly as you can. So our animal folk, we have the archiving desert monitors who are good at the discarding. They excel at manipulating their discard pile. So here they are. Oh, they like a refreshing drink. Who doesn't? Oh, I like that. Oh, and I like the, uh, the old store camera as well. That's cool. So that's them. Then we have the discontent white-headed lemurs. He doesn't look that discontent. He's just, he's just contemplating. Ah, oh, presents. A box of tools. Oh, that nice little train. And I like that little cartoon. Is that a cartoon lemur on the back? That's quite fun. And then some nice fashion and some lovely, lovely royal privilege red wine there. We have the scheming green magpies next. They are, oh yes, what do the lemurs do? They're good at replacing cards. They're rather impatient and get tired of their items faster than anyone else. Getting rid of old cards and trying out new things is second nature to them. I like the sound of that. The green magpies uh, are choosy thieves. They try to steal only specific items and nothing more. So I guess you have to try and guess what cards your opponents have and steal them. I would imagine is the, uh, the name of the game with the, the scheming green magpies. If you guess the top card's value from another player's deck, you place it. Yeah, okay. Cool. Choose a random card from another player's hand. If you guess its value, Put it into your hand. Yep. Cool. So that's quite cool. Who's next? The sh sharing short beat echidnas. They are good at borrowing. They borrow cards from everyone. They are only saving grace is the fact that they always leave something as a replacement. He likes his red wine there, doesn't he? And his tambourine, and they like tambourines, obviously. A delicacy of uh, yummy insects by the looks of it. Umbrella. A bike and matching colours. Swap an animal folk card from your hand with a card of equal value from an opponent's store. Oh, that's quite nice. So you can take one uh, that someone's already used if you need it to complete one of your one of your stacks. So that's that's pretty cool. The superstitious snowshoe hares. They are good at making predictions, statistics, and calculations, or blind trust in beliefs from previous generations. Hairs introduce luck, but you can do a lot to play around it with precise timing and careful preparations. Any time you roll the hair die and get a result of that, you may choose to re-roll. Oh, okay. Re-roll the die to change your result. Okay. And these all say, roll the die to do something. They all sound nicely illustrated, as always. As always, I've never got a bad thing to say about these. Uh, and what have we got last? The prepared, prepared even, grizzled tree kangaroos, who are good at stashing and protecting. They're excellent at hiding their valuables and creating diversions for mischief makers. However, their techniques are useful even when no one is playing dirty. So, ooh, he looks a bit shifty, doesn't he? Mm, indeed. Barricades, wheelbarrows, vigilance, a supply depot, and a tactical measurement. So there we go. Those are all the cards inside Daily of Merchants 3. Really looking forward to playing playing this, you know, or adding it to my Daily of Merchants collection and uh, getting six more animal folks to choose from. So uh, if you are interested in trying Daily of Merchants out and you don't 
you want to commit to buying it, there is an official tabletop simulator mod for the game as well, which you can get if you happen to own TTS on Steam. So, uh, yeah, that's there. And, um, yeah, I can't, I can't say anything else. Looking forward to giving Dalla versions 3 a try. So, snowdaldesign.fi if you want to know more. But for now, thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you next time.